I am going to use checkpoint which is model checkpoint and learning rate monitor. Model checkpoint will do is that after each epoch it will save your model weight. So if your training get interrupted you can resume that. And there is one important parameter which I believe by default is false which is save last equal to true. Let's say you have 10 epoch but your model stop improving after 5 epochs and your model get interrupted after 7 epochs. Let me write it here. And now you want to resume it from the second seventh epoch. If you set the save last equal to false, your last saved model will be at the epoch 5 because after that the model stop improving and if you turn the save last equal to true then whatever the last epoch is let's say it's 7 your model will be saved at 7th epoch as well as at 5th epoch so you can use whatever you want the learning rate monitor will monitor the learning rate so we can use this scheduler we have or the scheduler we have defined earlier so let me make the maximum epoch 1 just for the learning task and after that I am going to use model dot train model dot fit sorry I am going to use trainer dot fit actually model dot fit in model dot fit is in Keras in PyTorch lighting we have trainer dot fit we go the errors and it's time to fix these error t0 is not defined t0 should be equal to the new error is got an unexpected keyword t0 let me see that what is the expected one Uh, actually, I believe it is T max. Let me clear that. I have to use T max. The reason is that in cosine and kneeling warm restart, I have T0, and in cosine and kneeling learning rate, I have T max. So don't mix the two. Part. Here, these are two different learning rate scheduler. Let me go to cosine and kneeling learning rate arch. you can see that here we have tmax if i go to the cosine and kneeling learning rate which actually have warm warm up functionality we can see that here we have t0 so do not mix the two too many values unpacked okay we have to find out why we got this error. Okay, the reason is that we do not have a tuple, instead we have keys. So we have to define it by keys. We have to define batch and its key which is video and batch its key which is label. And we have to replace the same everywhere. Now I am going to restart the kernel and run now again. The reason is that when I run the notebook, it accumulates some of my GPU and when I run the cell again, it's already my GPU is already accumulated, it didn't fail it. And we can see here watch and minus n5 Nvidia minus SMI. What will this command do is that it will monitor my GPU after every 5 seconds and you can see that it's already filled and this is the reason we got the QDAR array memory error it means that I have to reduce the batch size which I can reduce it here to let's say as 4 and the number of worker also as 4 let me restart and clear my notebook so I can see that if my memory get free or not and for that I have to wait Okay, you can see that my memory is still 
uh, occupied around 4 GB. It means that I have to kill some of the PIDs and I can do as kill minus 9 and the PID and the other PID is 31850. Let's copy that. Okay, now you can see that I have only 585 MB occupied and I also can go back to my original batch size and number worker because previously I am getting this error because my memory is already occupied. So let's wait and see what is the error we got this time. Okay, it says that forward, forward missing one required positional argument x. So let's go to the forward function. Okay, relu activation didn't get the argument x. I knew, I know that this will take a lot of time still with one batch size but we can also figure out a solution just for testing it we can limit the training batch size and the validation batch size limit train batches instead of using all the batches we can all we can only use five batches and we can also use limit the validation batches and now i am going to restart and run the kernel again so that we can have the result in a very short time instead of waiting to train all the batches because we only want to know whether our code is working or not limit well batches spelling error in the next tutorial i what i am going to do is that i all i will use a pre-trained network actually not a pre-trained network but a uh, I am going to use the already trained model so that I do not have to go to this training process and I will show you what is the validation accuracy and what is the test accuracy on this data set. But before that let me, let me see the model running completely so that you can utilize this model or this code in your own projects for the purpose of video classification and video regression. You can see that we didn't get any error and our process has been completed. In the next part, we will see the results of this tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.